Welcome to another video. Today we are going to install and set up the responsive menu plugin. So this plugin allows you to create a beautiful WordPress menu that is responsive without ever having to write a single line of code. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get started using this plugin. And also our WordPress environment was set up in under one minute using this service. It's called InstaWP. So check out their website at instawp.io. All right, so let's begin installing our plugin. So we just want to go over to plugins, just hover and click add new. So once our page loads, we just want to type responsive menu in the search box. And we're looking for the second result. It's right here. So we just want to click install now and just let the plugin install. So once it's done, click activate. Okay, so we have successfully installed our plugin and we just want to make sure that we already have a menu. So if we go over to menus, we see that we already have a menu that's already created. So we have three menu items right here. But if we look over at the top, if we click manage locations, we see that our menu has not been assigned to a location. So let's assign our menu to the primary menu location. So click the drop down and select menu one. Once you're done, click Save Changes. So now menu one will show up in the primary menu location. Let's go back to our responsive menu. Click Create New Menu. And here we have a list of themes. So we have our default theme and some additional themes that we can select from. So you can choose any theme, but today we are going to select this, um, this electric blue theme. So let's move over to Marketplace. So we see some themes here and these themes can be purchased. Um, if we click save templates, this is where your saved templates will be stored. But let's move back to our installed themes and click next. So over at the top under name your menu, this is where we need to type our menu name. So let's call this our menu. And next link WordPress menu. We have menu one as default because this is our only menu. So next we have hide theme menu. And we are going to configure this later. So if we move to the next section, we have device visibility. We have mobile, tablet, and desktop. But this is a pro feature, so we can't change this. So the next section is display condition. So this is where we select on which pages we want to show our menu. So we can either use this as a short code or show on all pages. We are going to leave it as show on all pages. Click create menu. And let's just wait for the page to load. All right, so our page has loaded, but as you can see, we have our original menu behind our hamburger menu from the responsive menu. So we want to hide this original menu. And to do this, what we need to do is right click and click inspect. So once our inspect window opens, all we need to do is find the CSS selector that hides our menu. So this selector will be different based on your theme. So if we go over to settings and we click general settings, um, this box that says hide theme menu, this is where we want to paste our selector. So let's move back to our inspect window. And here we have a selector that we can use. It's primary mobile menu. So we can use this, but it will only hide our menu on mobile devices. We want to hide it on mobile, tablet, and desktop. So we can choose to use a different selector. Let's use this one called um, site navigation. So it's right here site navigation. So if we use this selector, we can actually hide our menu across all devices. So to use this, we just want to right click and click copy, copy element and paste it in this box over on the left hand side. Now we just want to delete these arrows and let's delete everything before the hashtag as well. Once you're done, click update. And you see we have hidden our original menu. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how you can customize your menu. So let's open the menu. So you see we have our menu items right here. And if we move over to the left hand side, we can find our customization options. So at the bottom we have update, we can save as a theme. And we can also change our theme by clicking this one. We also have buttons on the bottom that we can use to change our view from mobile to tablet to desktop. All right, so let's move over to our mobile customization options. 
so we can customize our container as well as our toggle button. Um, but let's customize our container. So click container. And here we have some options. We have our title, additional content, menu, search, appearance, and behavior. If you want to expand a setting, you just need to click the plus icon. We have some more options that we can configure. And we can change our focus from contents to styles by clicking these buttons. And we can also turn off these menu options by clicking these buttons. So take a look at what's happening in our menu when we turn it off and on. So let's go back. Click toggle button. And these are the options that we can use to customize this button right here. So let's retract these options. And we have button style button position, button type, which is a semi pro feature, as well as button text and button behavior, which is also semi pro. So if we go back, um, let us move to our desktop menu. And this is a pro feature. So you need to upgrade to the pro version of the plugin to access these options. If we go back, our next option is menu styling. So you can switch between contents and styling by clicking this button. So next we have item icon, item styling, trigger icon, animation, and behavior. So you can always go ahead and configure these settings if you need to. So for example, we can make our text right justified. So here it is. And you can always play around with these settings to get familiar with this plugin. Let's go back. And our next option is head of bar. This is a pro feature as well. So next we have themes. And you can use this section to change your theme or save your settings as a new theme. So you can always change your theme if you're no longer happy with it. Let's move to the next option. And we have settings. So we have both general and advanced settings. If we click general settings, these are the options that we configured in the beginning. So if we ever need to make a change, we can always come back to this section. If we go back, um, we have advanced settings. And here we can change our menu breakpoint. So for example, um, the breakpoint is set to 8,000. So basically if we make this something like 800, for example, and we click update, let's go to our desktop view. So our header bar is gone. So this is the point in pixels below which our hamburger menu will be displayed. Let's revert our changes. All right, so next we have animation speeds. We can expand this, so you can always customize this. We have technical, which is a pro feature, as well as page overlay, which is also a pro feature. So once you're done, click update if you want to save your changes. If we go back and view our website, hover on the home icon, click visit site. So this is our home page, and we have our responsive menu over on the right hand side. So I really hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and see you in the next video.